The other one for the automatics, etc., is the autopilot. So this will be the little button on the joystick that you then use to then activate either your laser pilot and or your GPS steering. So in here, if you don't turn that on, your little button on the joystick won't work at all. Here in this one, you need to tell it which one you've got. So if I select laser pilot here, um, that means my laser pilot. So if you've got two laser pilots, you've got one on the right, one on the left, you need to select that. If you've got GPS, then by all means select GPS. If you've got a maze cutter bar, then maybe the touch arms as well. So back into there and here, all we need to say is these two are set lo low. So this is my centralizing switch. So in other words, I can move the combine either, either left or right of that setting, what I've already got. So in other words, the laser pilot, when it's all set up, it'll be going straight and I can bias this left or right. So that's my centralizing switch. The other one here is my sensitivity. This is how quick the machine will react to the change in the crop direction. So you can increase or decrease the sensitivity. So if you make it more sensitive, the, uh, the line will, could become less straight, I should say. And if also on the minus side, do be careful on the minus side, you might find that it actually starts missing crop because it doesn't turn as quickly as it can. Obviously the limitations of the system for the laser pilot certainly would be how tight a turning you've actually got to do. If it's too tight to turning circle, it won't physically turn and go round that corner. You might have to take control and turn into it because it's too sharp for it to follow. The other thing to be aware of is the laser pilot itself is looking so far in front. So if you are cutting on hills, you might find that when you get to a certain position, in other words, you get to the brow of the hill, the laser pilot's actually pointing into the sky, it's not pointing at the crop. And what it then does is it goes to what we call straight ahead, and that is this. So in other words, what it goes to, what it thinks is the back axle being physically straight. So if you get to that certain position where you come running up a hill and you get to the top and the machine starts going off to the right or to the left, then what it might mean is this actual angle is not quite 100% straight. All you need to do is grab hold of the steering wheel, come in here and relearn that straight ahead angle. You will also find this, um, the straight ahead angle, what it's looking for also happens just as you come to your headland. So because the laser pilot is looking 14 meters in front of the cutter bar, as soon as it runs out of an edge, this is what it starts looking for, is this straight ahead angle. So this straight ahead, if there's nothing there, that's what it goes to until you grab hold of the steering wheel and or move the joystick. Once you've done that, obviously now it's just a case of going into the crop, pushing the joystick forward, once you're in the crop and then pressing and lined up, you then press the auto button on the joystick and now you'll actually see it go in a straight line down that crop with the laser pilot. If not, then you select your GPS here, select your GPS and now all of your settings here are no longer usable because the rest of the settings are now done in your GPS screen.